Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at how to make the price custom per sign so that you can put in the price while you create the sign and thus create multiple signs with multiple different prices. To do so we are going to change a couple of things in both these events. So first we start with over here we check if either get line the first line is empty because we do not want the first line to be empty anymore over there there should be the price so let's go and put this over here only if the first one isn't empty anymore and what we are going to do is we're going to do string price equals e dot get line one and that's going to be our price if it's not a number then um, yeah you should just put in numbers if there's you want to if you want to check if it's a number you can do integer dot parse int and then you can put in the string but then you will have to uh, change the type over here to int and what this will do this will return an error and break down your whole plugin if you do not put in a number over here so over here either set line just keep that all the same but over here I want to change that to plus price instead because we want to put the price over there as well diamonds just use the same system if you want something else only not with uh, price but with the item ID it's a challenge for today's video just create the same system as this with both a custom price and a custom item and use item IDs and now we put that over here uh, price we also want to do over here a little change because now we only use 10 10 10 we want to get the price from here and to do that I'm going to get the string string and it's going to be the price string equals e dot get line uh, e s dot get line over here I'm sorry s dot get line and it's going to be the fourth line or uh, in this case just use a three to get the fourth line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the dollar sign by towards nothing because we do not want to have the dollar sign over there and what we now can do is we can do int price just as below over there we can do equals integer dot parse int and we first want to remove the chat color uh, so chat color dot strip color and then we want to do price string and that will actually return us the price now we need to do over here we need to change this to price as well because we want to check if the player has more money than our price and then we want to re uh, withdraw the price and over here as well we want to send the price in the message so plus price plus the exclamation mark and that's actually how easy it is to make your price custom over here we checked if the first line is empty then we want to uh, take out the price from the first line so uh, over here on the second line of the sign and on the first in Java because Java starts to count at zero price over there and we also change this to include our price and uh, don't forget to strip the color and remove that one or this will return an error and that's it for the coding it's really easy challenge of today's video change this into custom item IDs as well just use line 3 of the site so that's it let's go check this out on the server see you over there so we're inside Minecraft now I've started up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created and as you can see if I now place the sign I do shop and I define a price over here let's say 200 and I press done then it will return uh, this beautiful sign over here 200 let me check my balance slash ball and it will return 900 and if I click it will be 700 and that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you've got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comments or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord channel where you can uh, ask questions and give feedback as well. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.